don't have level this, it's not gonna appear anywhere. It'll be fine. It'll be like a silent movie. <laughs> yeah. guitar It'll pedals. be like the best pedal ever. It'll be like the silent pedal. Yeah. 199 limited edition. Um, hello pedal nerds and nerdissels and nerdellas. We cannot forget the nerdellas. No. There are very few of you, Three. but we, I actually have female viewers on my channel. Three. 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 Caroline A is one of them. <laughs> I know that. I know that Sarah Davis is one. Sarah Davis is actually a serious pedal nerd in uh, England, oh, the UK. Davis. Sarah Davis. She writes me, well, this is exactly the same transistor as the so and so. And I'm like, what do I know? I play this. <laughs> she, she opens them and compares them. You would love her. Hey, Sarah. So, um, Jamie, from the Earthquaker devices. This was the German version. Earthquaker <laughs> devices. <laughs> Now that we've, we've opened up with a sweeping generalization about women <laughs> playing guitar, that's great. This is, this is what we do on my channel. We are politically very incorrect. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I am. You don't have to be. You have to sell things. You have to appeal to the masses. I don't. I appeal to... No, you're fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> I appeal to the weird people that watch this channel. Um, so, I thought I asked Jamie something that... This is bright! Um, that I... Do I look like washed out like ghosts <laughs> now? I feel good. Anyway. Okay, where was I? I have done tremolo demos, and uh, in every single tremolo demo, I have repeated my bitching about the tremolo, because... I want to know from you, and now from Jamie, how a tremolo, when it's very severe, a lot of depth with very choppy waveforms, yes. if you have a sawtooth or a square, which by the way is different, I had to clarify that. Mm -hmm. um, I love these sounds, these stuttering choppy sounds. Is, you just demoed earlier on... Nightwire? No, the Hummingbird. spatial delivery, spatial delivery. the uh, sample and hold. Yeah. I love this stuff. The only problem is, how, excuse me, the fuck, do you get it in a musical context? Hmm. Even with tap tempo, I have a timeline, with tap, yes. you're off plus minus 10 beats per minute. And even if you get it 140 beats exactly, and my drummer is playing 140 beats to a metronome, the zero point of the waveform isn't on the downbeat. It's not synced. So even yeah. if I have it 100% exactly in time, mm -hmm. I cannot tell the tremolo, here is my zero point. Yes. Why can I not do that? Well, it's because you're trying to use it for a thing that's fucking impossible to tell. <laughs> but that's in, how I feel about but it. In this, anyway. Yes, that's, that's exactly. I, uh, I tend to use it in a more like arbitrary context, I think. In a, I don't know how to put it really. Something that doesn't matter rhythmically. Um, the sample on hold, which is on a filter, my favorite effect ever. Love it. I tend to use it uh, in my own playing, like in a part that's a little bit more improvised, something that's a little bit more free form, and I bury it. But, which is but, but, but I think you're doing that. I, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say he's doing that. I don't, I don't really know. But I, I assume you're doing that because in that really cool rhythmical context, it's simply not possible. I don't feel like it is. I feel like even with Tap Tempo, which I've owned a Tap Tempo sample whole filter pedal, uh, the Sub Decay Proteus, which sounds great. But it is, I mean, the Tap Tempo is like, whatever. Like, I don't... It's rough. It's yeah, roughly... It, I mean, not, not saying that it was done bad or anything like that. I just found that it wasn't as important as I thought it would be uh, in the context I would use it in. And I can... I find that I, the spatial delivery, when I use it for the same thing in the same song, I don't care where the speed is. The speed is inconsequential. It would be super fast. It would be super slow. Drummers, you hear that? The speed is inconsequential. Don't yeah. listen to this man. Yeah. That, to me, <laughs> for my personal use, in my one song I use it in, the speed tends to not be an issue. Um, it's the overpowering of the peaks in the filter. Okay, coming up. Yeah? That is the issue for me. So it's like dialing in the right filter tone for that. But that is not really trimming. But wouldn't it be cool if yeah. these let's call it rhythmical sounds, not necessarily tremolos, but filter sounds which are loud. Yes. And these stutter, if, if we could use them in a rhythmical context. Now, I, yeah. I thought about this, and the guys on my channel are really cool because they, they comment, mm -hmm. keep the comments coming, um, and they gave me a couple of ideas. Well, one idea obviously doesn't work, which is the drummer has to hear you. <laughs> and that's not gonna happen, <laughs> okay? Um, yeah. Because, a, the drummer doesn't hear the guitar. B, if he could hear the guitar, he wouldn't listen to the guitar. Right. And C, even if he did, once I hit the tremolo on is when he hears it. And then it's not guaranteed 
that my waveform is on the downbeat. Yeah. So I thought about this, and this is me. Actually, I haven't thought about this. I'm lying. One of you has thought about this. I forgot your name. You wrote this to me on Facebook, and you're a clever motherfucker. Um, <laughs> now, think about this. I feel like you probably actually have thought a lot about this. I have. <laughs> but he actually gave me an idea. Now, let's say we have something like the uh, spatial delivery or something yeah. that can be very rhythmical and would be so cool in a rhythmical context. Yeah. What if we don't have... What if this gives the drummer a cue of where it is, mm -hmm. tempo-wise? Meaning you give it a, let's say, quarter-inch output to a companion pedal. And that pedal has nothing but an LED panel, and it flashes. It tells the drummer. It, it, and it, it mounts to the... Hey, dipshit, this it, is it, one. It, it mounts to the hardware, and it flashes, and the drummer sees, even if the pedal's not on, this is where his... Tempo is right now. Mm -hmm. So before the song starts, even if you're just using it in the chorus, he's playing in that speed, and you're hitting this thing in the chorus, and then you go gak, 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 and it's there. Yeah, it gets there. What will end up happening though is the drummer will be on time for one, and then be speeding up or slowing down. <laughs> also, in addition to the LED panel, it could have a headphone out. Yeah. With a little switch. Three position switch for three different sounds. So whatever my tempo on my boxes is, that will be the tempo in that companion pedal, so that the drummer will always know where your pedals on your pedal board yeah. are tempo-wise. Right. Would that be buildable? Would that be something... Who would we sell this to? The guitar player in the band or the drummer? Would they spend the cost? <laughs> you know? How do we do this? What do you actually call that thing? I don't know. The... I don't know. The beat you later. I have no idea. The beat it. Uh, beating it. <laughs> now you're on the right path. Right? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm I, like, working. I like the beat it. -er. <laughs> the beat it. -er. The beat it. -er is also pretty good. <laughs> but I think, I mean, I don't know if we can sell a lot of this, but it would absolutely, I think, in a relatively easy way, I think I, got, I, think I know what you're talking problem. about. I think a lot of the problem, too, though, with like tap tap of delay seems to make sense because it's, it'll slowly decay over time. Where tap tap of tremolo doesn't really have a swing. To it. And I think that's the biggest problem. Mm -hmm. It's like rigid, and it's like trying to like. There's some drummers that can play to a metronome, and there's some drummers who fall apart the yeah, second they hear a metronome. But are great drummers. It would obviously only be feasible if a drummer can play to a click, and it would not fix my problem in the studio. Mm -hmm. We were actually trying to do this really beautiful tremolo uh, along just on the whole song has an E pedal, and I was going to do this with a lot of guitars with tremolos. And we use the diamond tremolo, which is brilliant. Mm -hmm. I love the diamond tremolo, which is tapable or tapable in French. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. For tap, le tapable. Um, and, and I was tapping it, and I was playing, and, and the singer was tapping, tapping, tapping. It wasn't in time. We used the uh, then several different ones, uh, the jam, whatever, and then the Mobius with MIDI clock. Yes. That should fix it. But yet, the wave wasn't re-triggered. The tempo was going in parallel, but I couldn't re-trigger my wave, and I had, a, I, had a saw, I had a square wave. So at the least, what I would want is, if I have something, okay, my speed is fine, a button that triggers the wave at the zero point again. Yeah. Is that doable? I don't see why not. I never really thought about it. But I can't. You have so many cool rhythmic sounds. Yeah. How can you not think about that? Yeah, I mean, you can just re trigger. To, to some extent, uh, I'm going to name drop one of our pedals. I'm super good at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to point it. What? what? Uh, Avalanche Run. Um, um, I don't know what that looks like. Uh, oh, that, oh, cool blue. It's Wait, wait, that's, that's, that's right here. My sock. See? It's the same color. It's his sock and yeah. his shoe. Which you woke up and you matched those things. It also matches your logo. Actually, uh, actually, the, 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 this, this one's that? purple because oh, I actually do match my socks with my logo. <laughs> you did. Because <laughs> I'm named like that. Oh, man, I, uh, Julie always makes fun of me because my socks tend to always match my underwear. <laughs> that, that, for some reason, that is important. Blue. <laughs> Let's see. Blue. Just happen. I love a guy who Naturally. just is not afraid to show me his underwear in front of a running camera. That's just, yeah. that sounded very you wrong. I see my <laughs> underpants. <laughs> Under you want me to tap your <laughs> too, so that's fucked up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but what was the name drop the shit for? Uh, oh, the swiftless uh, swell function. I was calling it sweet through the whole prototype phase. Now it's swell. 
uh, re-triggers every single time you get the guitar. It starts over. It starts to swell over. It's oh, very easy to do. So I don't know why it, I don't know why it isn't done. I'm going to tell you a really nerdy story <laughs> because it just reminded me. There's a TV show, I don't know if you have it here, called America's Got Talent. There's got to be an equivalent. Yes, in every single country. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't, I don't watch one time. Okay. Playing guitar for my friend and former roommate, Charlie Peachock, who's a juggler. He juggled, he played the piano by juggling. Okay. And I had a safety device. He really played the piano to juggle, but I had a safety device that if he dropped the ball, I could advance the next note that the balls were triggering. And it's a similar concept. It's just giving it a pulse. Mm -hmm. It's like start over, start over, start over. It's pretty easy to do. Well, so then, I don't know why, I don't know why. Yeah, then I want to like, know, know, know why. I don't know why you can't just like start. The, I know exactly what you mean, like start the waveform at a certain it, point. Like the, this, this diamond tremolo has, has beautiful, it has a stutter effect. It has beautiful rhythmic patterns. You know, uh, but, but I cannot use it in a musical context. So it's it's sadly as good as it is, it is pointless to actually use it in a band or in a recording situation. Yes, I know what you mean. I know what you mean about that in tremolo. Like unless you're using it, using it rhythmic is very hard. So why then, then either don't include that function and make the tremolo swooshy and that's it. I love harmonic tremolos, by the way. This is why yes. the Nightwire is freaking awesome. And I've talked about this in my tremolo shootout without which, without actually having it there because. I didn't have one. I don't know why. And you never will. I never will now. I can't buy one. You know, you cannot stop me from just. I'm gonna order one right now. Screw you. Oh, you're done. <laughs> Smack it out of my hand. I got it. They did that uh, yesterday on the Daily Show. Hmm? They went to the DNC. They bought a Nightwire. No. Yeah, that's what they did. No, they did. they went to the DNC and it's something about emails and people being. I don't know. They just took people's iPhones out of their hands and threw them on the wall. That's great. <laughs> I was like, what? That's great. They just literally just destroyed people's iPhones and laptops. They, he, the, the guy took a laptop and threw it on the floor. There'll be a lot of insurance involved. It, it crazy. They they probably paid a lot. But it was funny. Check it out. Daily Show. Funny show. Uh, so, some friends of mine, uh, Ryan, he's in a band called the Royal Banks. Amazing band. He's good at plugging things, do you notice? <laughs> Have you guys tried Coke? It's a delicious <laughs> drink. It's great. Uh, Watch this YouTube channel. Uh, wait, you are. Yeah, I'm wearing pants. Uh, <laughs> hologram electronics? It's called the Dream Sequence. I do think it does this. I do think it does this thing. Where it will uh, reset the waveform. I think that it doesn't. I'm not sure. It's a very awesome, like, rhythmic y, octave tremolo filter thing. I don't have one because he hasn't sent me one. Bastards! Someone Brian. said that the Sona or Sonos from. I've given you a lot of free pills. From a Zvex. Zvex does it. Yeah, someone said that the Zvex, some in the road, Zachary Vex. And yes. Zachary, Zachary was like, uh, it's not really a tremolo, and you uh, ask Eric. That's what he said. I don't know who Eric is, but Eric, does it do that? He said it's... I know Eric, and he's right. <laughs> Ask Eric. But the, uh... <laughs> Which one? Sonar? 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 Yeah, something like this. Yeah. He said that re-triggers... Uh, some fans said that it re-triggers the waveform. I might be totally off the mark here, but I think that... Uh, um... Uh, whatever. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. We've talked about weight now. Just play those pedals. Look, they have fun, fancy colors. Look at the colors. You got Come knobs. On. You guys like knobs? Knobs. Oh, I love but, uh, knobs. Yeah. No, knob is a different word for penis. <laughs> Just to let you guys know. I don't know if you picked up on that. For you Germans, a knob is Himmel. He loves knobs. The, uh, <laughs> uh, the harmonic tremolo. Tremolo tremol with filter in general is the best. I love, I, I I love, love that, that thing. thing. I really do. And uh, before that, I would typically use an Earthquaker Devices brand <laughs> Hummingbird tremolo into an Earthquaker <laughs> Devices brand Grand Orbiter Phase Machine. One of my favorite sounds. Especially when paired with a hoof fuzz by this company called... <laughs> It, what do you think about an earthquake device? Asshole. <laughs> yeah, but they make good pedals, don't they? Oh, they're fine. Acceptable. They pay me to like them. <laughs> Seriously, the hoof, also, I've only played three of them and they were all good. I mean, they're 
With this many pedals, there must be sucky ones. <laughs> okay, just by statistics, something here has to suck. Well, he wouldn't tell you. Mm. At, at some point, I'll, I'll, I'll bug him and he sends me some, and then we'll check him out and I'll find the tiniest little flaws to bitch about. Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, go away now. <laughs> this has been way too long, as always, but that's what she said. That's way too long. <laughs> that's uh, what she keeps saying. It is. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Jamie.